Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change and make shortcuts inside of Studio One. Now, if you're constantly needing to do specific tasks inside of Studio One, it's a good idea to find out the shortcut for it, but sometimes that task doesn't have a shortcut. Okay, so I've got this vocal here on Abbey Vox 10. Let's expand that just a little bit. And inside of this vocal here are my tape layers. So I can right click on the track and go expand layers. Now, as I'm recording a lot of vocals, that's a task that I use all the time. So let's set up the shortcut for that. Right, if I go up to Studio One here and click on keyboard shortcuts, the first thing I want to do is to find that task. So I'm going to type expand layers. And as you can see, expand layers has popped up, but there's no shortcut for it. So I'm going to enter a key and I'm going to choose B and click assign. Push apply and OK. Now, if I push B, it will open and close my tape layers. Now, there's something that really winds me up inside of Studio One, and I really want to remove that shortcut. I'll tell you what it is. It's when I'm pushing spacebar, and I might be a bit overzealous, sometimes I might miss the spacebar and push the V button. Now, if I push V, this happens. A scratch pad appears because V is set to create a new scratch pad. So I want to remove that. So let's go back into Studio One and go to my keyboard shortcuts. Now, I need to find out what V is doing. So I can push V down here, and it will tell me this key is already assigned to scratch pad, copy loop range to scratch pad. And let's show it. So now what I can do here is to remove that. Click apply and OK. And now every time I push V, nothing happens anymore. Now there's one more thing that we can do. Let's have a look at a shortcut that I use all the time, which is bounce selection. Now, I know the shortcut for this is quite long-winded. Let's have a look at it. Again, let's go into our keyboard shortcuts and type in bounce selection. Now, as you can see here, I have to hold down four keys. So let's remove that and that one. And I'm gonna try and find a key that will work. So I'm typing in random letters here, and as you'll see, it's coming up with a little sign saying keys already assigned to with loads of different functions. But let's find one. Full stop. Perfect. Click assign. Apply and OK. Now I can highlight a section here, push the full stop, and it's bounced a section for me. It's worth finding the tasks that you use constantly and just adjusting the shortcuts for your own purpose. So I'm Paul from Production Expert. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.